So I finished caching, well, the computer's finished caching the first set of Cyflex settings, and if I press play, you'll notice that the cloth actually drapes on pretty well. Uh, for a first try, uh, that's pretty darn close. The crashing that we see here is very, very minimal. We actually just need to push the geometry away from the collider uh, a little bit more, but the fact that the cloth is conforming to the character's body so well uh, is something I'm quite happy about. To control this, we need to increase some of the uh, the values found in the external envelope. And previously, the default value I'd set was to uh, 0 0.01, or the value that was set for us. I'm going to increase the size of that envelope right now. And again, at this point, I can change any value in the Cyflex menu because I'm reading from a cache. I'm also going to decrease or increase the precision of the damping. Uh, the accuracy of the damping. Right now it's got four decimal places before it starts to record any anything of note. So I'm going to move the decimal places uh, forward one to the ten thousandths of a unit uh, in terms of damping. Again, remember that we're using very small uh, values as described by the calculator. If our cloth motion, depending on the motion file, is fast, we would want to decrease the internal envelope as well. So I'm not necessarily going to lower this, but increasing the difference between the external and internal envelope will allow for a more accurate but slower collision detection. So for now, if I can get away with negative 0.01, I'll try to do it. So that's really about it. I wanted to just really increase those values. Damping should slow the movement of the cloth down a little bit so it's not quite so bouncy and the external envelope should push, uh, push out these uh, vertices a little bit more. So I'm going to record a new cache. Call it Cyflex second cloth test. And maybe to the end I'll apply damping and external envelope. One of the very cool things about uh, XSIs through the mixer you can actually um, work with point caches and, and mix them together. So something to be considered. Okay, in any event, I'm going to just minimize uh, Camtasia for the moment. I'm going to play to capture the new cache files, and I'll come back in once we have it recorded. Again, just over 150 frames should be uh, adequate.